Hey everyone, my name is Tristan and welcome to my small workshop in my basement. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a LARP safe sword, which means you can fight with it. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. For the core of the sword I'm using a bamboo stick because it's light and really cheap. I want the sword to be 1 meter long so I mark it at that length and then I cut it with a hacksaw. Then I figure out how long I want the handle to be and I mark out the length using a sharpie. To make the blade soft and lightweight I'm gonna use some packaging foam. First I trim down the pieces to make the length of the sword. And then I cut down the groove into the foam pieces to embed the bamboo stick. After that I repeat the same steps to make the other side of the sword blade. To glue the foam pieces together I'm using a hot glue gun, but to not melt the foam I'm using it at a colder temperature than usual. I glue all the pieces the same way. Next I have a whole lot of trimming and fiddling to do to make sure the blade looks like a real blade. I tried to give it a fantasy sword look. To make the blade sturdier, I wrapped it all in T-Rex tape, but later I found out that it was a really bad idea. This is how the blade looks with all the tape on it. Next, I made the guard using some EVA foam. To make both sides, I traced out two pieces, then cut them out and heat shaped them to give them the right shape. Then I used more hot glue to glue them down to the stick. I tried cutting out strips of 1mm foam to wrap the entire handle to mimic a leather style. And I glued them down using hot glue. It looked really bad. So to cover my mistakes I used some vinyl from another project and I cut a long strip. Then I wrap it all around the handle. And it looked much better. Then I traced out and cut out a round circle out of half inch foam to use as a pommel for the end of the handle. Back to the blade, I had to wrap it using some 1mm foam, so I used hot glue to uh, glue the foam to the tape. It looked really good, but there was another problem.
because of the tape I added earlier, the blade was super heavy. Plus, because of the shape, the center of gravity was on the tip. So I scrapped this blade and make a new one using a pool noodle. First I cut it down to size. Then I trim down and sand the sides to make the blade slimmer. After that I cut the bevel for the edge of the blade. And it already looks more professional. After that I skip the taping step and go directly to wrap it with 1mm foam. Because of the shape it was much easier to wrap it than the last one. Plus it's lightweight and looks really good. Because the new blade didn't fit with the old handle guard, I had to scrap it and make a new one. Of course, I made it with half inch EVA foam. I made it a bit more traditional by making the two sides symmetrical. And it looks super good. Now it's time to stick the blade to the bamboo stick. So I use a whole lot of hot glue and then I slide the blade into place. The construction of the sword is all done and it looks really good. To fill the foam seams I use some quick seal. You can apply it with your fingers and then smooth it out using water. And you have to leave it to dry for 24 hours before sanding it. To seal the foam, I use some peel coat from Rostolan. It's kind of like plastic, but it's cheaper. I tried using some googly eyes to make the rivets on the handle guard. And I glued them down using some super glue. Then I covered them with black spray paint. I used some gold and black paint to uh, paint over the entire handle guard. For the blade I mix some silver and black. And for the leather handle I use a combination of brown, black and red to make a leather color. I use two coats of paint for every color I applied.
Lastly, I used some silver sharpie to paint over the rivets. I used some satin clear spray paint to protect the handle and handle guard. And I taped off the blade to make sure no spray paint would go over it. To protect the blade, I used some clear gloss spray paint. And of course, I taped off the handle guard to protect it from the new paint. And we are done! So this is the sword and I'm really happy with how it turned out. This sword is a birthday gift for a friend so I'm pretty sure he's gonna be really happy with it. So this is the end of the video, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed you can leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Until next time, I'll see you later, bye!